Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation, the R interp node. So the R interp node, as seen here, stands for rotation interpolation. For our example, basically I have a little pickup cube. When I click the button, it picks a new rotation and then rotates to it. The nice thing is, because I'm using interpolate, I can actually click the button again in the middle of a rotation and it's going to go ahead and immediately change to the new rotation and interpolate to that destination. It's basically, it's a nice way of having a uh, sort of an animation that's not necessarily fixed. So let's cover the node. It's pretty simple. You have your current, your target, your delta time, and your interp speed. These are all your standard uh, variables that the interpolate nodes need. Your current being whatever your current rotation is, target being your target rotation along the interpolation line, delta time being how far along that line it should go, and interp speed, which is basically a multiplier of your delta time for how fast it should go in relationship to the delta time. For my example, it's pretty simple. I'm basically getting my cube, setting up a random rotator, and then telling my event tick that it should go ahead and rotate. My event tick simply takes the delta time, puts it into the R interp node, spits out the new rotation, sets it, and then continues on. And then I have it set where basically if I'm close enough to my new rotation, I go ahead and stop rotating. So it's pretty simple. It's easy to use. Uh, R interp could be useful, for example, a turret. You need a turret in a tower defense to spin around and it needs to track to its new position. Well, using the R interp node, or of course, we have the R interp, in R interp, wow, constant, which is the same thing, it just has a constant speed instead of the ease in out, like the R interp. Using one of these functions, you could smoothly rotate from your beginning position to your final position in a nice easing fashion. So that is our R interp 2 node. It's pretty simple to use. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below.